And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting started with game number two in this best of three between Carleton University and St. Clair College. Carleton put on an absolute clinic there, including that uh, crazy AP Shivana there from Shinog. And sure enough, that's going to be the ban. Tommy, you're in talking some strategy with the guys. How'd everything go over there? Well, everyone uh, didn't bash each other, so that's... That's always a good start. <laughs> yeah, very. It's really easy to do after a game feels a little bit lopsided to just start cursing at each other, but it's good that they're not. And then sure enough, of course, insta-ban there on the Shivana. Not going to be playing up against that again. Meanwhile, well, the side... Seen, um, a Galio bed instead of the Shivana, actually. There were some pretty sick taunts coming out there from it would have been Patalp, I believe. Yeah. Patalp, yeah. Couple three player, five player taunts just you completely a, you shutting a, down. You got a four man taunt at one point. Mm hmm Last game as well. <clears throat> yeah, hopefully but that didn't got... slip by the uh the Saint squad, but since you're a coach and I'm sure you, you covered that. <laughs> I Ash. definitely would like to see a Galio ban instead of Shivana, though. Because she was only able to go... What was it? 12-0? and 0 Because of um, her mid, mid and top laners. They just got so much priority in lane. Makes sense. But looks like this time, Carlton and Richard will be taking the center away from, uh, from Saints. It almost looks like a little deja vu here, except the other way around. Senna going to be first picked once again. Now it's on to the Saints squad to see what do they change up or if they're going to try it again and focus on execution. We'll get to see. I know Frez is probably a little frustrated after that first one personally, after um, his lane didn't exactly go too good. And we have a Jin first pick. I don't see Apex here. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> of course, for those who don't know, we used to have... Uh, Apex snipe on this team for the longest time. He he played support for the team, but he was a Jin one trick. <laughs> he was a Jin connoisseur, if I yeah. say so myself. A Jin connoisseur in the Nautilus comfort pick again, though. I mean, I feel Coming like from uh, the side of Saints gaming. And I feel like Barnacle Boy was probably fine that last game, so it's going back to Nautilus. Not a bad idea. And just try and do your best to protect your teammates as best as possible. But when you have a piercing fireball that doesn't care that you're in front of it, there's only so much you can do. Oh, 100%. A Thresh coming back here for Iman did a solid job last game. That bot lane was extremely quiet, but they had a solid game themselves as well. Indeed. Sal is very All interesting right. pick here. This will limit uh, what Saints can uh, draft because he can Sal can still uh, ultis from uh, the enemy team. If he were to, for example, steal a shockwave, how would he throw a shockwave? He can't. He just straight up can't. Okay. He, I was he would have say. to. He would have to flash in himself and just be uh, be a oh. dive bomb essentially. Okay. He doesn't get a, a soccer ball or something to play with instead. No. Ah. <laughs> he, he, he wishes. And now this will be a first for me. We see the Lilia coming out here. Hey, you're mentioning, I think it was Trick that was playing it? Yes. Lilia in the jungle. But Carlton have to know that um, that's going to be a, a Lilia jungle. Does she not do top very well? Um, she can do top into certain matchups, like tank matchups. It's the same thing, it's the same principle of um, a range versus melee matchup. Range will always win, unless they mess up. Right. But it looks like Saints don't want to deal with uh, uh, there the it goes. and the Galio okay. again. Getting rid of the front line completely from that last game. Now force. Carlton did have an opportunity, though, to pick up um, the Salas for their last pick. Instead of the Silas. Pick the what for the last pick? You said Silas twice. Oh, sorry. Uh, they could Carlton could have picked up um, si or Galio instead of the Silas there because it was not banned in first phase. Mm hmm. 
But it looks like more bands targeted towards Yule in the mid lane. Yeah, no Syndra, no Zoe, and then Shen gonna come back out to play once again, so it's probably going on to Frez. I think we're gonna see another lane bully coming from uh from Gus in the top lane. Like a classic Renekton or something like that? Renekton, Camille, Fiora. Oh? Unless that is Silas is in the jungle? jungle? It is going to be Silas jungle. I totally forgot about that flex pick that you can do with Silas. All right, then crafty. Very crafty indeed, as Azir just always a solid pick in mid lane almost no matter what the meta, it seems. Mm, I'd say he's more of a niche pick because he can still ultimate, right? So uh, imagine... For Azir? No, for Silas. Oh, okay. Yeah. So imagine, oh. imagine Salas having full built AP, right? Just stealing a Shen ulti. <laughs> all, all, all of a sudden, you get a the enemy, uh, the enemy kick gets a thousand damage shield for <laughs> no reason. You're like, wait, what happened? <laughs> yeah, cause you can hang on to that for a while, or do you have to use it right away? Oh, you can hang on to it for a while. I think uh, you can hang on to it for like five minutes. The last time I checked, let me check real quick. You literally you. could just go split push and pull a Shen. And this is oh. definitely not Yasuo. This is... Uh, like, Yone? Yone. <laughs> Relatively new champion, I do believe, if not the newest. I think he is the newest. Besides uh, Samira, who's, who'll be coming out in 10.19. I'll be interested to see if that'll come out in, in time for us to play it right off the start when the season starts. 200 years of collective experience. <laughs> uh, all right so much different team comps because of the bands from both the saints and carlton you could get to see something essentially completely different here from both sides this is nice to see see lilia and yone for the first time for commentary silas i know silas has been out for a while but i've never really gotten to see one play oh. for a good while you get you can't hold it for, for five. You can hold it for... After you steal an ulti, you can hold it for 90 seconds. So a minute and a half okay. is your is your time window to use that ultimate that you have stolen. Okay, so you steal, you go up top, you steal it. <laughs> Jen goes to teleport for a fight, and you follow him, basically. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, if you're AP and you can just make an impenetrable shield, by all means, just do it. <laughs> but I, I'm curious to see how... Um... How Frez will will be dealing with uh, Clut in the top lane because he is also another lane bully in the top lane. Yeah, he was always a weird one. At least I don't think it's necessarily a Grange poke this time, but he can definitely do some decent damage. If I recall correctly. But Carlton drafting very well around um, the Saints revealing the Jin pick early on. Right, because Jin just straight up doesn't move, right? Like, he's very slow for the most part. If uh, if you're tanky enough and you're against a Jin, you'll just win. Yeah. Because he's limited to, what, three normal autococks and a fourth shot that does percentage health damage. Then he has to reload for, like, one or two seconds. Yeah, like, yes, he hurts, but he uh, doesn't shoot that often compared no, to these other ones. And of course, God forbid, he fires his ultimate and you're just able to jump on him while he's there. Sitting mm -hmm. duck in that case. I mean, Kled charging in with the rest of the squad could definitely catch a Jin off guard. It's interesting to see the two style differences of the AD carries when uh, Ash and Caitlyn are both off the field. Like, can you, can you get Senna taken away? Of course, Senna was the first pick both games, but it was uh, Never Story opting for the Ezreal and Lazi now on the Jin. I would have liked to see an illusion from coming from uh, Lazi, actually. I mean, you'd have mobility for days. Because if you look at the two teams, Carleton University has a very scary team when it comes to scaling. That's for sure. Because you have the Senna scaling with her passive and the Azir Sand Soldiers as well. So if this game goes on for long enough, then I think Carleton just outscales them.
And we'll have to see if Saints can make the plays early and be the ones in the dominating position to stop any sort of scaling compared to how it was last time where Saints were sort of trying to scale and it just straight up didn't happen. Instead, the only thing that you were scaling was the size of Shivana's fireball. That's a lot of oil that uh that they fed to that Shivana. Oh, without question. Oh, we can make some good fried rice with that fireball. <laughs> make it instant at that. Instant. Okay, <laughs> we're we're not we're not in Japan here, <laughs> where they have uh, instant fr well in Korea because they have you know you know the the Korean fire noodles. I've heard of it. Yes, like they they actually have a um, a fried rice version of it. Oh, that's like that they sell in the freezer aisle. Interesting. It is interesting. But looking at rune choice, is you're going for the uh, for the poke setup for for laning instead of the the scaling from lethal tempo. I mean, up against uh, Yone, so he's melee, so he's going to be getting harassed constantly. It makes sense to kind of have a something that can continue to poke him out, just try to dominate that initial early stage of the game. That is hundred percent true. But you, but Yule also is going the sustain set up with uh in terms of rune page with uh taking fleet footwork and i'm assuming he's taking second winds and something else in the resolve tree as a secondary but getting into game two here we'll see what uh both teams decide to do And of course, this being a best of three, Saints need to pull it together right here, right now. Otherwise, we're kind of going, or I'd say we're going home early, but I mean, we're already home. But the match would be <laughs> over already. And I'm, I know personally, I want to see as much League Legends right now as possible. Just but, like in uh, in playoffs? Mm hmm. What is it? FlyQuest making TSM go to game five? It was all part of the script, right? Oh, all planned, bro. They had their PayPals and everything ready. <laughs> oh. But uh, just before anything happens, what is your in-game timer, Danners? I am currently hitting 105. 105? Okay, so looks like we are on point. I'll let you know if there's any sort of stuttering going on on my end here. That was a weird fluke during that first game, but <laughs> props to you. We still made it work nonetheless. Looks like uh, Carlton is... Oh? Are we making our Saints replays? looking for an invade. Yule's not a part of it, though. Just up and go back to lane, go back to minions. Oh, I gotta stutter again. Oh no. Oh, he got ourselves some massive damage. This invade is going completely wrong here oh, for St. Clair. No. Trading blows. Actually, big clutch up there Trick. from Lazi. Trick barely oh. getting out with his life. This battle is still going on. Patalp is about to go down. Double kill to the Jin before two minutes. This is such a disaster for, for Carlton. Two early kills onto the Jin. Oh that is man! So much gold on that gen right now. His first initial bag is going to be humongous. Oh well, say goodbye to your early game there, bot lane. Unfortunate, but Gus actually going to go down. Frez going to get the first kill completely solo. Oh effort. my! Holy smokes! And now he's going to be forced to TP right back in. He's going to be already down a level. Frez is saying, start. "It is my turn to be the bully now." Yes, exactly. Being the bully on Shen of all things, that's very odd. I mean, Shen surprisingly has a lot of damage if you don't respect it. Mm -hmm. From his, uh, his, what's his kick up? Is it Vorpal Blades? No, Toilet Assault. Man, I'm still used to old Shen. I was gonna say, I think that was the old Shen, but you, you got it. Now we have the end game, but man. this is gonna be a trap here on the side of St. Clair. Shenong's right there as well. Lazi gonna just opt to go for the battle. He's oh. got the big shot available. He is gonna be able to trade this out one for one. Yeah. Four Shenong, shot though. coming in. Oh! There we go. Saints Can starting off strong Shenong? now. They do get the, the follow kill on Shenong, but. And we got ourselves another duel in the top lane dead even at this point frez doesn't have any additional summoners and oh. sure enough is this another is kill? nope he got he, he remounted and uh gets a kill back the, 
the gimmick of Kled coming in clutch there. The character doing exactly what it's supposed to do, just trolling you with <laughs> his little buddy coming back right in time. Can't remember what the, the buddy's name is, but the extra little shield coming in clutch. This is a very scrappy game too, coming from uh, from both teams. I mean, for the most part, this is exactly what Saints needed, but Carlton at least going to keep them in check, keep them in line with a couple kills of their own, but still, to already have over a thousand gold lead, and we've only hit the four minute mark right now, that's crazy. It looks like Shenong will look for uh, an innovate into uh, Trick's topside jungle here. Yeah, currently sitting there on the red buff, and Trick at the Raptor is pretty much right next door. If he's not careful, he could be in for a rude awakening. We have an engage down on bot lane once again. That's going to be Iman get, taking a ton of damage. Now a bit scrappy here in the mid lane as well, but of course, Yone just teleports away like it's no big deal. All was good. I did my damage. I'm out of here. Shinong's just sitting or chilling in the yeah. top side jungle, just waiting for Trick to, to come to red buff. But I'll tell you, he won't bite for the time being. Yeah, Trick really taking his time. He did go over. Um, he has he has to, he has to know now that yeah, something's some, going on. Something's fishy. Now he actually started doing the buff now, so this could be oh. a bit scrappy as well. That's going to be the smite over to Trick. The He's going to get that red buff, and now this is going to put Silas. Shenong in a very tough position. I think he was forced to flash over that or no. had an ability to it do was so. Burnt, uh, it was burnt in the early uh, in the fight. All right, level one. All right, his dash or whatever. If he had a dash, it goes over. He got over one way or another using that Rift Harl pit. <laughs> if Trick still had his flash, I think Shenong would have been dead there. Oh, without question. Constantly being slowed by that red buff. He would have had nowhere to go. Oh, yeah. No, oh, this mid lane pretty dead even though, eh? Yep, that's the sustain setup of uh, Yone. Okay, big taunt from Frez up on the top lane, but we do have the... The Kled remount? Buddy, uh, the remount. I'm just going to call it that from now on. I keep forgetting what the thing's name is. <laughs> but comes in with the shield once again, stopping any further aggression. Oh. However, Trick is right there, but he's on top of Ward, so uh, Gus is going to run away. Be Man, a sword is, already for uh Shenong is down see. so many camps though. 20 22 CS to 38. That's brutal. Even when they went over to the red buff when Shenong was just sitting there. Trick was level four, Shenong was still three, so losing the smite fight. Because it does scale off by level, right? So Look, looks like Saints is looking yeah. for uh playing the mid lane. But they gotta be careful of uh the Shrema oh. Shuffle. Oh, He's going to teleport oh, out wow. of here. Frez so, going to get it. Oh, my. <laughs> what a play. They didn't even need the bot lane there. They was there for moral support. <laughs> I mean, they shoved that lane for the most part right to turret. So now they can go regroup, take this dragon. And by the time they're done it, they should probably be able to get back to that bot lane before any minions really go down. However, a little bit of miscommunication here, it looks like, from St. Clair. Nobody really committing. Looks like Lazi really didn't want to miss those minions, so he's just going to let uh, Trick and Barnacle take care of this dragon. Looks like Carlton won't be contesting at all since they lost their mid laner. Yeah, they lost their mid laner. I think their jungler had recently reset as well to get items. And Trick is piling in CS compared to Shenong, though. Oh, yeah, big time. 48 to 30 now. Do you see a slight change in itemization coming from uh, Frez on the Shen? Rushing the ninja tabbies right off the bat. To be able to to withstand all that damage from Kled. Oh, that definitely makes sense, and it's allowing Frez to finally have some staying power in this lane, and to slowly but surely attack on some additional damage. Speaking of staying power, Trick is in the enemy jungle, and he just snagged a red buff for free. He's cruising right now. This is actually like a complete 180 compared to <laughs> the last game. Oh, definitely 100%.
Yeah, between the junglers and the top lane. It's completely different. We do see... I'm still trying to force something in the top lane, but Frez doesn't have a word on it, but is at least, like, wary enough, good enough game sense to know that, hey, why is he pushing me this far? He's a level down. This is probably a trap. And he gets out of there. Frez is just not taking, taking oh, the hello. Oh, the hook on the center. Sleepy time. Trick picking up the kill. Bonk. Never story going down. Aww. He missed the bonk, but he got the reap. <laughs> Hit him with the bonk. Okay, up top, Gus popping the ult and is going to try and charge in here. Frez is getting extremely low, flashes away, but gets ignited, and Gus is going to finalize the kill. We got an extremely aggressive play here from St. Clair as well. Trick getting pretty low on health, but Shannon goes down. Trick is actually going to get oh. taken down by the last turret shot as well. That's gold's going to go over oh, to Iman. That's unfortunate. I honestly thought Trick had enough health to live that, but I guess not. <laughs> Just the ramp-up damage, I guess, from uh, Tower. Yeah, the Tower not having any of that, but on the plus side for St. Clair, both of those kills down bot went to Thresh. <laughs> went to Iman. <laughs> Carl but, uh, Carlton University just down so much gold from the initial uh, level 1 fight that, uh, that occurred. It's crazy that it's snowballed, but at least it hasn't snowballed as hard as it could have. Like, this is still rough, but it could have definitely been more brutal at this point. If Carlton wants to look for a turnaround play, it'll be somewhere in the in the top lane, around the, revolving around the cliff. Yeah, that's probably your closest lane right now. We got two kills each on the side of... Or on both of these teams, rather, for these top laners. Looking to make that top lane play, sure enough, charging in does have that ultimate available if he needs some additional shielding later on. Frez has no flash either, so he's probably going to have to taunt to get out of here if he has not burned it already. Hooked aside, barely hanging on for dear life, missing the chains. Shenong's going to die for it. The taunt is missed. The flash is forced. Oh, and no, Shenong's Shenong. barely, barely going to hang out. Oh, my. But Trick is coming for the follow-up if necessary. Charging through wards, though, so they know that Trick is coming. Imagine if Shannon got creep blocked by uh, <laughs> into the tire. That would have been so unfortunate for Shannon. That would have definitely been a feels bad man. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, this is a rough spot here for Gus. I mean, he's got his... Uh, his remounts available, so a little extra health available. Baiting me constantly here this game, apparently, Gus. What the heck? The 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 dragon is spawning pretty soon. Yeah, Saints are able to take that first one pretty well uncontested. See if they can follow up, snag themselves another. They should be able to with how uh how dominant their mid and bot lane have been looking, and also especially the jungle. But speaking of the jungler, looks like Trick is uh, grabbing a sneaky Rift Herald at the moment. Now we're gonna possibly take care of it, and sure enough, is gonna be able to secure it. So nicely done there from Trick. This literally feels like deja vu, but just the other sides. <laughs> like, oh, same lanes dominating. Sleepy time is here. Actually, right as the ult oh happens. Oh, my. You're going to shut that down. Oh. However, the soldiers really making that difficult there for Yul, but he's going to be able to get out of there just in the nick of time, it looks like. Trick almost getting sniped by the uh, Dawning Shadow from uh, from Never Story from the bot lane. The good, the good thing that... Uh-oh. Uh, Azir wall. Uh -oh. Down on bot side. This could be curtains here for Barnacle Boy. He's just going to... Uh, Secure his own fate, so to speak. So he slowly but surely goes down. They're going to try and pass this off to Neverstory. Is going to go down. Tower dive was thought about, but opted against. As the rest of the squad here from St. Clair are arriving. Trick was just oh. right around the corner. Frez, though, almost getting caught by a hook, but he's okay. Almost hit that taunt. Oh. <coughs> Sidestepping both the uh, the hook and the snare. Coming from uh, Carlton Botlin. And I think it looks like Carlton have um, priority over the dragon right now. Yeah, that was weird. It looked like Trick was trying to uh, somehow sneak a solo dragon, and as that, all those battles were happening down bot, 
and it made it a little bit scrappy for the moment as everybody is down by and could have definitely turned on him. But everybody getting out with their life this time. Looks like Trick will be saving that Rift Herald for, for post 14 minutes when the plates go down. Okay, Dragon getting pinged out here for the side of St. Clair and the bot lane is pushed in. So if there's any time, might as well do it now. So we're either gonna get that. we're gonna get Infernal Rift or Mountain Rift here as soon as this dragon uh, dies. Okay, here is Shannon getting engaged upon, but oh my, does not quite find its oh. mark. Yo, going in deep, but he's gonna eventually just teleport back. Could not go Barnacle any further. Boy's, Barnacle Boy's death charge got canceled by uh, by Senna's last embrace. Em eh, embrace. I was wondering what happened there. Okay, that makes sense. He, he basically got out of vision for a split second and it canceled the animation for uh, depth charge. I was gonna say, I see the puddle. I see it coming, but nobody got popped <laughs> up. What the heck? Yeah. Oh, hello, Shelly. Getting spawned in the center here by Trick. Although Yule's trying to put some damage onto that center turret and it could very well cost him his life here. Down to less than a quarter, but it's gonna be able to get out just in time as the rest of the cavalry comes in clutch here from Saints Gaming. Luckily he didn't lose his life there. Gives himself a second to get back to base, possibly pick up an item and whatnot. But just looking at the map, there's nothing left for Carlton to take for the time being because Saints have just taken everything. Yeah, all main objectives off the board for the time being. It's pretty much a matter of... Uh, Either keep farming in your lane or shove a turret down if you want, but pretty well all but one turret is standing here. Just that bot lane one, gone. We see just looking at the bot. Go ahead. Just looking at, just looking at the goal graph. Every everyone on the Saints gaming is ahead besides um, besides Farco Boy in terms of gold. But oh, we're gonna play in the top lane here, coming from the side of Carlton. Yep, Freza stuck in a bit of a 2v1. However, the taunt is gonna keep him alive just oh. fine for now. Just taking some damage, but they're gonna stop pushing us forward, not gonna get too aggressive with it. Yeah, if the only spot that you're losing in the game is just supports a little is down just a little bit of gold. That oh, is nothing. not the end of the world in the slightest. Oh no, definitely not. Nalus is just there to be a meat shield. But oh, oh Fred? Gus. <laughs> Completely baited out. Ooh. Fred made it look like he popped. wanted that fight. <laughs> and he gets bopped, exactly. But Saints just have full control of this game, just not letting Carlton control the map whatsoever. Yeah, Frez all alone in that top lane has all the time in the world to just keep chip chip chipping away on it. Looks like Saints is pinging uh, topside jungle though. Oh, they spot. Looking for to invade Silas? on the blue buff. Okay, yeah. Trick trying to take this, but it's going to be Senna actually, not Silas. Looking to try and contest it a little bit, but that's going to go over to the Saints as well. Right, it's almost going to be able to take this turret down, but Gus has arrived. Be able to defend that just a little bit longer. And so much damage there from Yolan. Just that quick little combo. However, he's got to be careful. He's about to get flanked on from four members of Carlton. And try and find his way out of here. Oh. He's actually going to pop the ult and just go for it. And then he flashes over the wall, going to bring it right back as if he's LeBlanc. He's going to eventually go down. However, in the meantime, Azir did get oh, dropped by Azir. purely minions. That gold does not go over to Saints, I don't think. There's also no, a duel happening not. here in the top lane. Lassie also here to help support. Fred's probably going to be able to get out of there. But I mean, if, uh, if Patop was going to go down, I guess might as well just go down the minions. Doesn't... Uh, other than having a death timer on, yeah, no harm, no foul. 
It looks like the uh, the second Rift Herald will go over to the side of Saints Gaming. That just will. Time two. Nine to, wait, nine to twelve? Trick gonna pick that back up once again. Not to see where they put it. They did some decent damage in the mid lane last time they had it. I'd like to see them use it um, as they're contesting uh, Dragon in one of the either bot lane or even in mid lane, rather, to pull uh, some tension away from uh, the Dragon Pit. That's definitely a brutal strat. Like, oh, you want this Dragon or do you want Shelly to just go ham on your base? <laughs> Pick your poison. However, it looks like Carlton are going to be here to contest, trying to clear out a little bit of vision for the time being. Yes, I think that is Inferno Drake finally showing up here. Gus looking to take a flank around. However, he's not exactly the most healthy. They very well could turn around. And oh. okay, he popped his ulti so he didn't get slept. Nicely done. He would have been absolutely toast had that not but happened. That's their, but that's their mini engage tool gone from the fight. Now you can see the rest of Carlton. For the moment, at least, they opted to turn towards uh, the mid turrets. But instead, they're going to try and dive bomb Trick, and it's going to be successful. There's no smite on the side of St. Clair. And that's going to oh. go over to Shinog. He's going to get the Inferno Drake. Lazzy getting popped. Drowsy taken, almost taken down, actually. Shinog. Hanging on. Oh, my. And in the meantime, Clay. Patel going down as well. Barnacle Boy going down. The only one to survive that was Yol. I don't even know if he was really a part of that fight. He's still full no. health. I think he was still under his tower. He was getting zoned from the rest of uh, Carlton. Carlton did do a good job where they... It looked like they kind of faked mid for a second. As if they were going to just push it down and ignore the dragon. Kind of split up Saints just a touch. But... And that might have been enough of a difference. But it looks like Look Yol's going to get this. Perfect. Yeah. Gets himself the quick 1v1. And he's actually going to show up right next to uh, Iman as well. The Thresh can't really fight. He can try and push him away, but he's not going to win that 1v1. Gonna just flay him away and run for the hills. Unfortunate for the Saints that uh, that Shinog managed to kill Trick before uh, securing the dragon there. It was definitely best case scenario there for Carlton. Focus the key target. And was overall able to get the objective and it was even more perfect for them that they were able to line up some kills on top of that. Still though, they're still behind a little bit of gold. They're down 4,000 gold. So Carlton have a long ways to go before they, uh, they catch up. I mean, you did say during champ select though that this is a team that wants to scale. Indeed. So I feel like the later this goes, the scary it's going to start getting for St. Clair if they aren't able to find picks or something. If Vizier gets to his his third item, it's going to be uh, very hard for Saints to do anything. I mean, Patal had a really rough early game, but he's got a couple eliminations under his belt now. He's slowly but surely he's starting to keep his farm going. He's behind Yul, sure, but he's getting there. He's got the Nashers, he's got the Leandries, he's getting there. It won't be that much longer before we hit that, like you were saying, that three items mark. And he can really start putting in some work. But I'd like to see who will be, uh, who, who will contest uh, the split push from Yule. As he is two crit items, so he has max crit chance. Mm -hmm. For those that don't know, Yule has the same, kind of same passive as Yasuo, where he gets double crit from items. A double crit, but like less crit damage or something, right? Exactly, yeah. Oh? Oh no, Gus. Running for the hills, but no, he's gonna get caught. No out. Scarl either. And then hello, Shelly. Goodbye, turret. Or almost goodbye, turret. Majority of the Saint squad contesting the top turret. Gonna bring this down, finally. Of course, Fries can show up whenever he pleases, essentially, with that ultimate, so... Him cleaning up these minions is no big deal. Just getting him a little bit more caught up and has actually completely caught up on CS2 Gus. And hello, Baron. We're just going to go for this, aren't we? There's no They're vision here. They're just gutting for it. They have four people at Baron, and they have Fred still pushing the, the bot lane. Oh, let's get him like pinged out, though. Yes, Carlton has their suspicions. Looks like Saints is going to try and back out. It looks like they, they caught out... Um, 
Shenong. Yeah, gets taken down right away in the team fight. Goes and we have the front line from St. Clair getting absolutely pummeled. But thankfully for them, it's none of their carries for now until Lassie gets oh, completely shoved out of there. And that's going to be brutal for St. Clair. Big damage gone. 3v3 at this moment. Frez doesn't have that much damage, though. Tries to hang on for dear life. This fight did not go in St. Clair's favor at all. Gus is going to try and dive this. Might have been a little bit overzealous, but actually the rematch oh. going to save. But never mind the turret giving us a little bit of revenge, a little bit of justice here <laughs> for the side of e St. Clair. Emon taking the tower, the tower aggro, sacrificing his life for his teammates. That is what you call a team player. The dismount from Gus. I guess loses turret aggro, and then he might yeah. just get shot for it. F's in chat for Iman. It's better for him to die than the carries, if I do say so myself. Which is true, yeah. Man, that was a very scrappy fight, though, coming from, uh, from both teams. That kind of scares me a little bit, though. Saints felt like they had the jump on that fight. Yeah. They almost they took somebody they, they out right away. Right off. Yeah. And that was still close. It was a 5v4 after they picked off uh, mm -hmm. Shinong in, in their jungle, and they still lost that fight. Like, I don't know if they just got split up or what, but we'll have to see moving forward how this goes. Especially if it's a team composition that's pretty reliant on sending themselves a pick. Otherwise, scaling, is, of course, is going to become a problem. And but if they just we're death ball that, yeah, it'll be a problem. Yeah, but now we're about to see if, uh, if, if Saints can get to Soul Point or if... Uh... If Carlton can snag their second Drake of the game. This is Inferno once again as well, so it's a little bit of bonus damage, I believe, right? You're explaining this to me earlier? Okay, perfect. An additional uh if you if you hover over it, uh the icon the, for the Inferno ah. Dragon, plus four percent attack damage and ability power. Thank you. <laughs> but looks like uh Carlton have prime position over the uh bottom river. And Dragon finally going to get started here for St. Clair. They already bursted this down to halfway. It's going to be Gus leading the charge right into Barnacle Boy. Yule right in the middle oh. of everybody. That's a pretty solid Jinal. ult doing so much damage. However, again, the Dragon getting taken away by Shinong. Once again, Barnacle Boy is going to find himself the first kill, and there is then going to be a follow-up double by Yule. Looks Top like is going to try and run looks for like, it. Looks like Saints just stopped looking at Dragon completely and just focused on the team fight. But now, since they won the team fight, they're going to look on Baron here. Well, I feel like they have to get Baron for this to be, like, seriously worth it. I mean, already, this is a, a four for nothing. So, yes, that team fight in terms of kills and gold and whatnot was solid. But get this buff. Put yourself in this position where you can push even harder. Get a little further ahead. Now we already see Barnacle Boy cleaning up some vision for this next push coming up. And that's going I to be Baron secured. Ideally, you would have liked... You would, have, you would have wanted to see the Saints get the Dragon first, then turn around and fight uh, right. Carlton. But they still get a net positive out of it with the Baron buff. Yeah. Giving them uh, the bonus stats. Yeah, definitely thirsty for the team fight there. And at least it went in their favor pretty heavily. But again, this Dragon, some additional damage. It's all scaling. It's still scary. But it looks like Kazir is, is going to go for a, a third item Zanya's. Probably to protect himself against the uh, the Yone and the Jin. Oh, and then poor Iman getting caught out of position. Frey's going to clean that one up. And this this one's looking much more more rough here for Carlton. Nice little change of pace. The different team composition. Definitely favoring St. Clair for now. This tower is just about to go down. Only two members of Carlton here to try and defend. And those, uh, those sand soldiers don't really uh, do that much damage right now, do they? Carlton's just playing dodgeball at this point against the Lilia, who just keeps yeeting those balls across the rift. Mm -hmm. Now, Fred's getting extremely aggressive. Nicely done zoning essentially the entire team off this inhibitor. However, St. Clair are not going to complete it. They do have the Baron up minions that they're going to have to take factor of, but that objective was not secured, which is a little bit off-putting. I think there's a little bit low. That's why they, they chose not to to try and 
force the inhib. They they rather take the safer approach. No, oh, which is fair. Makes sense. Okay, Yul's looking to make the hero plays here, and he's actually going to explode oh Never my Story before goodness. this even gets started. And he is eating so much utility tricks here as well. He's going to take down Patal. Yul going to finally get hooked and taken down once again. It's going to be the Silas. Shannon going to take care of that. However, that's a sleepy Silas. Gets taken out. Silas will go night-night. Yeah, Gus going down as well. The only one standing is Iman, and is no longer standing. Four members of St. Clair still live in. The ace is here, pushing it down center. And they should be able to, like you said, clean this up for the victory. Still 20 seconds. We're going to get a game three. We're going to get game three, surprisingly enough. I was definitely worried after looking at how game one went. But seeing how Saints performed here in game number two, I'm a little a little bit happier here for the home team. Looks like they were they, they finally rallied after game one. Yeah, this team fight or this team comp clicked, and uh, nobody game on two. Carlton got to fly. Game two going to over to Saints Gaming. That means we we will be getting a game three in oh. uh, in a few moments. Absolutely. So Saint Clair coming in clutch, getting themselves the victory here in game number two. The bands definitely, I feel like, made a huge difference in how this game ended up turning out. But we'll have to see what happens for game number three. Of course, these games are all still preseason. But come on, we want to start off the start off the season with the W nonetheless, right? So stay tuned. Give us about five minutes or so for the players to get a quick drink and get myself a quick drink. Fix up a tea or something. Hydrate people. And we'll be right back with game number three.